In the realm of software development, methodologies play a vital role in shaping the approach teams take to create high quality products. Two such methodologies are Agile and Spiral. They have gained prominence for their distinct philosophies and practices. As we delve deeper into their origins, principles, development life cycles and real world applications, a comprehensive understanding of their advantages and disadvantages will emerge. Today we are going to study about difference between spiral and agile methodology. So before we dive deep into it, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let us discuss our agenda for today's session. We are going to cover the introduction. Moving ahead, we will discuss about life cycle of Agile and Spiral. Then we will learn about advantages of Agile and Spiral. And finally, we are going to conclude our session with their comparison. If you are looking to get certified as a Scrum Master, then you are at the right place. So let's take a small tour to know Simply Learn Certified Scrum Master Training Course. Certain key features of this course are, it is a 100% money back guarantee course with 16 hours of instructor-led sessions delivered by CSTs. There is a Scrum Alliance exam fee, which is included along with a free exam retake. You are going to get trained by globally acclaimed CSTs. There will be 20 PDUs and 16 SEUs. You will also earn a Scrum Alliance certificate with a two-year membership. And finally, you are going to get complimentary access to 15 courses worth 25,000. Hurry up and enroll now. Check the course link in the description box. So guys, let's start an introduction to Agile model and Spiral model. If I talk about Agile model guys, Agile model conceived as a response to the limitation of traditional technologies. It is grounded in the Agile manifesto. It was crafted in 2001. This manifesto articulates four key values and 12 principles that emphasize flexibility, collaboration, and responsiveness to change. Similarly guys, if I talk about the spiral model, so guys, the spiral model was proposed by Barry Bohem in 1986. It represents a risk-driven approach that incorporates elements from both waterfall and prototyping model. It addresses the challenges posed by large, complex projects with focus on systematic risk analysis and management. Now, as you know guys, spiral and agile methodologies stand out to be the prominent software development approaches. Now, since we have got to know a brief idea regarding what is Agile and what is Spiral, let's move on to their life cycle phase. Now, if I talk about the Agile development life cycle guys, the Agile development life cycle is marked by short iterative cycles known as sprints. These typically last for two to four weeks and involve planning, execution, testing and delivery. The iterative nature of Agile promotes continuous improvement as each sprint incorporates feedback from stakeholders. Popular Agile frameworks include Scrum, Kanban, and Extreme Programming. It provides specific methodologies for their effective implementation. Similarly guys, let us discuss about the life cycle of Spiral model. If I talk about the Spiral life cycle guys, the Spiral model life cycle consists of multiple iteration or spiral, each containing phases such as planning, risk analysis, engineering, testing, and evaluation. These iterative approach accommodates changes and enhancements as the project progresses. The model concludes when the software meets predefined objectives and satisfied stakeholders requirement. Now let's move on to a discussion where we are going to discuss the advantages of spiral and agile model. If I talk about the advantages of agile, the first one that comes to my mind is flexibility and adaptability. If I talk about flexibility guys, Agile's iterative nature allows for rapid adaptation to changing requirements. This adaptability is crucial in today's dynamic business environments, where client needs and market conditions can shift unexpectedly. The next one is customer satisfaction. The continuous involvement of customers and stakeholders ensures that the delivered products align closely with their expectations. Regular feedback loops contribute to higher satisfaction rate. The third thing is reduce time to market. Incremental development and frequent releases in Agile lead to a reduced time to market. This agility in delivery is particularly advantageous in industries where being first to market can be a competitive advantage. The next one is improved quality. 
Agile's emphasis on continuous testing and integration practices contribute to higher overall software quality. By addressing issues early in the development process, the final product is more reliable. Similarly guys, if I discuss about the advantages of spiral model, the first one that comes up to my mind is, is risk management. The spiral model's unique strength lies in its approach to risk management. By systematically identifying, analyzing and mitigating risk at each iteration, it offers a proactive strategy to handle uncertainties. Next one is flexibility and changes. Adaptability is a key feature of the spiral model. Changes in requirements can be seamlessly integrated into subsequent spirals, ensuring the development process remains aligned with evolving project needs. The next one is it's highly customizable. Tailored for projects with dynamic or uncertain requirements, the spiral model is highly adaptable to different development scenarios. The high level of customizations makes it suitable for diverse project environments. The fourth one is client involvement. Regular feedback from stakeholders ensures that the final product aligns with the user's expectations. The spiral model's iterative nature allows for continuous client involvement, fostering a collaborative development process. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea regarding the advantages of Agile and spiral model. Now let us jump to the main part, that is the comparison, and let us see how Agile is different from spiral. So guys, the first parameter that comes up to my mind is approach to change. In Agile model, if I talk about it, its approach to change is characterized by its flexibility and adaptability. The Agile manifesto values responding to change over a following plan, emphasizing that change is expected and welcomed throughout the development process. Agile methodologies such as Scrum embrace change by allowing adjustments to requirements even late in the development cycle. This iterative and incremental approach ensures that the product can evolve in response to the evolving market conditions or customer feedback. With reference to the same parameter, if I talk about the spiral model, it also accommodates changes but with a structured approach. Changes can be incorporated in subsequent spirals, taking advantage of their iterative nature of the model. The risk analysis phase in each spiral allows for proactive identification of potential changes and adjustments can be made based on the insights gained during the iterative cycles. While the spiral model acknowledges the need for change, it does so in the context of risk-driven and systematic process. Now let us discuss our second parameter, which is the customer involvement. In Agile model, it places a significant emphasis on continuous customer involvement throughout the development process. Stakeholders, including customers and end users, are considered an integral part of the development team. Regular feedback loops, sprint reviews, and showcases ensure that the customer's expectations are continuously aligned with the evolving product. This high level of engagement contributes to customer satisfaction and helps deliver a product that meets the actual needs of the users. With reference to the same in spiral model, Customers' involvement is facilitated through regular reviews and evaluations. Each iteration allows for customer feedback, ensuring that the product aligns with their expectations. While the customer may not be actively involved on a day-to-day -day basis in Agile, the structured approach of the spiral model ensures that customer input is considered and incorporated at various stages of the development. Now let us talk about the third parameter, which is risk management. If I talk about risk management guys, in Agile model, it takes more adaptive and iterative approach to risk management. Rather than having a specific phase dedicated to risk analysis, Agile teams continuously assess and respond to risk throughout the development life cycle. Agile methodologies encourage teams to identify potential risk in early and address them in subsequent iteration. Whereas guys, if I talk about the spiral model, the spiral model is explicitly designed with a focus on risk management. The risk analysis phase which occurs in each iteration involves a systematic evaluation of potential risk and the development of strategies to mitigate them. This approach ensures that risks are identified and addressed in a structured manner, contributing to reliability and robustness of the final product. Now let us discuss our next parameter that is the development life cycle. The Agile model development lifecycle is characterized by short time box iterations or sprints. 
Each iteration involves planning, execution, testing, and delivery of specific set of features. The development cycle is continuous and iterative with product evolving incrementally in response to feedback. This life cycle is well suited for projects where requirements may change frequently and delivering a minimum viable product is quickly essential. Whereas if I talk about the spiral model guys, the spiral model's development life cycle consists of multiple iterations or spirals. Each encompassing planning, risk analysis, engineering, testing and evaluation phases. The project begins with the identification of objectives and alternatives, followed by the development of a prototype. Subsequent spirals build upon the previous ones, incorporating feedback and addressing risk. This structured and iterative approach is particularly effective for large complex projects where systematic risk analysis is crucial. Next is suitability for project types. Agile is well suited for projects with dynamic or rapidly changing requirements. It thrives in an environment where flexibility, adaptability, and quick responses to market changes are essential. Agile is often favored in industries such as software development where need for innovation and responsiveness is very high. Whereas if I talk about the spiral model guys, the spiral model is ideal for large complex projects with uncertainties and evolving requirements. It is often adopted in critical systems such as aerospace, defense, healthcare, where risk management is paramount. Now, let us discuss about the document emphasis. Agile prioritizes working software over comprehensive documentation as stated in the Agile Manifesto. While documentation is essential, Agile methodologies emphasize that primary measure of progress is a functional and valuable product. Agile documentation tends to be lightweight and focused on facilitating collaboration and understanding within the team. If I talk about the spiral model guys, the spiral model balances the need for documentation with an emphasis on risk analysis and management. Each iteration involves documentation of objectives, alternatives, risks and strategies. The emphasis on documentation supports a systematic approach to development, providing a comprehensive understanding of project complexities. Now let us discuss the next parameter that is iteration or iterative nature. If I discuss the iterative nature of Agile, it is quite inherently iterative with frequent release and continuous improvement throughout the development life cycle. Whereas in spiral model, it embraces iteration, refining the software through multiple cycles while managing risk at each phase. This iterative nature allows for ongoing adjustments based on feedback and insights gained during each iteration. This approach is particularly effective in projects where systematic and adaptive developmental process is necessary to address the uncertainties. Now, final point that is communication and team interaction. If we talk about agile model guys, communication is a cornerstone of agile methodologies, emphasizing the importance of face-to-face -face interactions within the team. Daily stand-up meetings, sprint planning sessions, collaborative discussions are integrals to agile success. This emphasis on communication ensures that team members are aligned on project goals, impediments are quickly addressed and knowledge is shared effectively. This collaborative communication fosters a sense of shared ownership and accountability within the team. If we talk about spiral model guys, while the communication is essential in the spiral model, the formalization of communication process may vary. The model encourages communication between team members, stakeholders, management, especially during the risk analysis phase and subsequent iteration. However, the level of formality in communication may depend on the specific organization processes and the nature of project. In summary guys, effective communication is a critical aspect of both agile and spiral models. But the emphasis, formality and specific practices may vary based on the methodology and the project's characteristics. Open and transparent communication within a team and with stakeholders contributes to successful project outcomes in both approaches. That was all for this video guys. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on difference between agile and spiral models. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.